All right, quick video because I, I forgot and my phone's about to die. It was getting close to dying. Um, doing the driver's side motor mount on the CRV, and um, I already got the old one out, but it's it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna go over here just really quick what to do. Um, so what you want to do is start by moving the cruise control, which you can see right here. And you'll have this little clip where the cruise control plugs in if you still have it. Right on that little uh, piece right there. So you just slide that off. Just press the little pin, move it right off. And then you can fold the cruise control out of the way. To get the cruise control unbolted, it's just three 10 millimeter bolts. Right, Two right here, one right here. Don't have to move anything out of your way. You can get out of there pretty good. Um, next one that you're going to want to do is slip the power steering hose right off of here, this bracket, and then take the two 10 millimeter bracket or 10 millimeter bolts right here, and you're going to want to take those out from top of the power steering pump. Now you're going to lose some fluid, so if you don't have any fluid, make sure you get some. If not, it's not a huge amount. You'll be able to get to the store to grab some. Um, you shouldn't have to move anything else after that. You get these two, three, 14 millimeter bolts. You're gonna have to loosen those out. And then you have the two 17 millimeter bolts on the mount stud and then one on top. And then what that allows you to do is once you bolt those bolts back down for the new motor mount, you can slide this back over and slide that back over there. Now, you wanna make sure you have something to prop the, the engine up. You know, a jack stand, a jack, something. Just hold the engine right where it was at. Little flex is gonna be okay. And then basically just bolt these bolts back on there, the 17 millimeters. You want to get back, you know, impact by hand, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And once you get those back on, tighten those up, tighten your power steering back up, clean it off because you don't want the power steering fluid running all over your belts and everything. And then put your cruise control back on. And you're good to go. That's the, the front motor mount. It's really, really simple. Uh, again, you know, you can see it right in there. Sorry, I would have a little bit better. Um, no, that's the, sorry, the front driver's side motor mount. But I have a little bit better video, but I'm running out of uh, life on my uh, phone. So I'm going to charge it before I do the other one. So, all right, that's, that's pretty much it, man. Three bolts for the cruise control. Three bolts for the motor mount. Actually to the frame three bolts to the motor mount to the bracket for the engine, and then two 10 millimeter bolts for the power steering line. Lift it up, move it out of your way, and just reverse those steps right back and you're good to go.